Hello coders. In this video, I am going to explain you conditional selection, also called as filtering the data of Pandas data frame. So you can find this data frame in the description below if you want to work on the same data frame that I am using. So here I am going to solve 10 questions to explain you filtering the data of Pandas data frame. So I request you to watch this video two times. During first time, you have to observe how I am solving these examples. During next time, pause this video during each and every questions and try to solve it by yourself. I am sure you will enjoy it. So now let's get started. So here you can see I am using this data frame. Let I execute this cell once. Now let I show you our data frame. So it contains three columns, name, marks and grades and seven rows. Student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4, student 5, student 6 and student 7. Now first five examples that we are going to solve without using lock or i lock so question number 6 and 7 that we are going to solve with lock question number 8 question number 9 and question number 10 that we are going to solve with i lock so now question number 1 students having marks greater than 90 so now let i first display our data frame so students having marks greater than 90 so as you know we have to work on marks column so marks which is greater than 90 you can see boolean array is generated so let i store this boolean array into variable x so that we have to pass into the data frame so when it will become true it will display the result that you can see so in place of these two lines of code also we can write into one line so now first we have to find the marks which is greater than 90 then in place of storing inside the variable we can directly pass into the data frame so this inner part generate the boolean array that we are passing directly to this data frame df1 that you can see in place of these two lines of code we can directly write one line now next examples that we are going to solve with just direct method second question students having a b grade so now let I first display our data frame. So as you know, we have to work on grades, grades column. Now having a b grade that you can see boolean array is generated that we have to pass into the our data frame df1. So when it finds true, it will display that particular row that you can see over here. Now third question, students having marks greater than 80 and having a b grade so here you can see there are two conditions this first one and second one that we have to add together with and operator in place of and sometime we required or operator so now let i first display our data frame so as you in the first condition we have to work on marks which is greater than 80 in the next we have to work on grades which is equal to a b grade then we have to add with and so in pandas we have to use this ampersand sign we can't use this and please remember this and now if you are using two conditions or more than two conditions then we have to add parenthesis to each and every let now you can see over here boolean array is generated if both these conditions become true, then AND operator become the true. Now let me pass this to our data frame. So when it finds true, it will display that particular row that you can see over here. Fourth question, name of the students having marks greater than 90. So we require name, please remember this. We want name of the students having marks greater than 90. So let I first display our data frame. So as you know, first we have to work on marks column, marks, which is greater than 90. Now, boolean array is generated that we have to pass into our data frame. So when it finds true, it will display that particular rows. Now, we want only name. So we have to just display name column that you can see like this. So name of the students having marks greater than 90. 
so student number one and student number three having marks greater than 90 now question number five name of the students having a b grade so let i display first our data frame so we required name of the students having a b grade again we required name so first as you know we have to work on grade column so our column name is grades which is equal to a b grade now you can see boolean array is generated that we have to pass to our data frame when it finds true it will display that particular rows now the only required name column so that you can write like this so name of the students having a b grade that you can see over here now next so now lock access a group of rows and columns by labels or a boolean array so now question number six and seven that we are going to solve with lock so question number six students having marks greater than 90 so let i first display our data frame and as you know we have to work on our marks column so marks which is greater than 90 that you can see over here boolean array is generated that we have to pass inside the lock that you can see students having the marks greater than 90 student 1 and student 3 having the marks greater than 90 next question students having marks greater than 80 and having a b grade so now here you can see we require two conditions with and so now let me first display our data frame so first we require marks column so marks which is greater than 80 and bf1 grades is equal to a b now as you know we have to give the parenthesis if we are having two conditions or more conditions then let me pass this boolean array to our lock now you can see students having the marks greater than 80 and having a b grade so now next question 8 9 and 10 that we are going to solve with i lock what do you mean by i lock access a group of rows and columns by integer positions or a boolean array so now question number 8 students having marks greater than 90 that we have to solve using i lock so let me first display our data frame then i lock we have to access all the rows and marks column which is 0 and 1 so 1 greater than 90 you can see boolean array is generated that we have to pass to our data frame so this way we can use the i lock to filter the data frame so now question number 9 student having marks greater than 80 and having a b grade so now here you can see we have two conditions and and so now let me first print our data frame then i lock with all the rows and first marks column at the position 0 and 1 that we require greater than 80 then next df1 dot i lock all the rows and grade column which is 0 1 and 2 which is equal to a b that we have to add with and as you know if you are having two or more conditions then we have to add this parenthesis over here like this then we have to pass to our data frame this boolean array now you can see students having marks greater than 80 and having a b grade now final question name of the students having a b grade using i log so please remember we have to find the names of the students having a b grade so now let me first print our data frame then we have to use i log so i log all the rows that we have to process and we have to work on grade column 0 1 and 2 having a b grade that you can see boolean array is generated that we have to pass into the data frame 
then we required only name name of the students that you can see over here adyan vedan having ab grades so now you can filter your pandas data frame with and without lock and i lock in this way as per your requirement you can filter either using lock or i lock or without using lock or i lock thank you thank you for watching